Through the course of the administration tutorials, we will administer and manage a number of process instances. To make this possible and easier in this tutorial, we will download and deploy a sample workflow as a K2 package in this section. Then we will move in the direction of using the deployed workflow in later administration tutorials. The first step we need to take is to download a K2 project file that we will then deploy to our server. This project file contains a basic workflow that was created in K2 Studio. Once deployed, we will create a number of process instances to use in our tutorial steps. To deploy this solution, we will use the K2 package and deployment tool. In a real-world scenario, a K2 package could be created by a developer from your development K2 environment and passed on to the K2 administrator to deploy into production. Another scenario might have you download the package from the K2 community site or another resource as a solution to a business need in your organization. The point is to help you understand how to use the K2 package and deployment tool for this tutorial. We'll begin this tutorial by running through the download steps to get the K2 project file located at http help.k2.com slash files 9762. To download the file, enter this URL in your browser and then press enter on the keyboard. You should see a message with the options to either open the file, save, or save as. Let's just select save as and then save the file to our desktop. You can usually find the desktop favorite up here on the left side of the save as dialog window. Select desktop and then click save. This should be a fairly quick download. Once you get the file to your desktop, you'll need to get this package deployed into your K2 environment using the K2 package and deployment tool. You can find and launch this tool by going into the start button menu, select all programs, K2 Black Pearl, and then right here you can select the K2 package and deployment tool. This should load up fairly quickly. Okay, from the right side actions column, let's select deploy package with the mouse. And when prompted for the file name, browse to the K2 project file that you previously saved to your desktop. This file will be named K2 learning 100.dnd underscore basic K2 administration.kspx. We can keep the default values for the remaining deployment options here on this screen and click next. On the validate the deployment package screen, let's wait a few seconds until we see the ready indicator in the status column. If this takes a little bit longer for you, feel free to pause the video. That looks good, so we can click next to continue. You may need to also allow a minute or two for the package deployment process to complete. If this does feel like it's taking this amount of time in your environment, you can pause the video here and we'll pick up the rest of the process when you're ready. Great, when you see the green success indicators next to the deployment descriptions, you can click finish, then exit the K2 package and deployment tool. Now we should go over and confirm that the workflow appears in K2 workspace. This is because in later steps, we will start a number of process instances from this new workflow for this tutorial. Let's launch the K2 workspace by going into the start button menu down on the lower left of your machine, Select All Programs, K2 Black Pearl. You can select K2 Black Pearl Workspace from here. When that page loads up, go up to the navigation bar menu at the top and hover over Management and select Management Console. You can expand the K2 server node. This is your server name and it may not be the same as what you see on my page if you're in your own environment. Then go down into the tree by opening the workflow server group, select processes and open that up, and you should see K2 learning slash workflow administration. We can open up that group as well. Inside this group, confirm that there is a process named workflow administration sample. While looking at this process tree, K2 learning workflow administration is the name and file folder for the K2 project that was created for this tutorial. The process name is Workflow Administration Sample. 
When you create a process in K2 Studio, K2 Designer, or K2 for Visual Studio and deploy it, K2 creates a process definition in K2 Workspace. Each process then has its own set of options here, such as process rights, instance management, version management, and so forth. At this point, let's take a quick review for step one. In this step, we downloaded and deployed a sample process for use in later tutorials. The deployment package was actually a K2 project file, which could have been deployed from K2 for Visual Studio as well. We use the K2 package and deployment tool as an option to give you experience deploying projects between environments. Now that we have successfully deployed our project and workflow, we can move on to the next section called Managing Processes and Process Instances.